All right, so we'll be having Mantis and Conde. Yep. Basically, uh, Malamar and a Mewtwo. And Mewtwo matchup. So, Malamar again, a character that's very interesting because he has his pigment mechanic yep. in which he has to properly manage it in order to get the most out of the character. Yep. Mewtwo, on the other hand, very light character, yeah, but has very, very good setups. Very good setups, and uh, an throw that kills super, super fast, super early. And Olimar being a really light character, you know, is going to affect him. So we're going to start with match number one, game one song. So we're going to be on Smashville, pretty neutral stage, of course. Yeah. And the pick, usually for... Pretty much any any match. Yeah, in a really sense. any match. Like I don't think there's too many bad matchups or too many characters that excel at this matchup, except for example Ness because of that back throw. But yeah. Yeah, and this stage, the, you know, this, it, it, this stage is normally neutral. Right. So now we're seeing Conde kind of keeping the pressure here on Mantis, not yeah. letting him do too much with this Pikmin, because that's another thing. Yep. You oh, want oh. to take out as many Pikmin as possible yep. when you're, in this case, the opponent of an Olimar player. Yep. Because that that means they have, I think it's two moves that they can use? No, the jab, I think it's the up, the up tilt, the down tilt. Up tilt, down tilt, yep. But, I mean, oh, did you see that? So, Gonda just launched the neutral beam, you know, the, the shadow ball. And the purple Pikmin was standing in the middle of the stage and took it. Wait. Give me a we should finish. Oh, what I was trying to say, sorry, is that basically uh, there was a purple Pikmin in the middle of the stage and the, the purple Pikmin just took the, the shadow ball right to the face. Right, and the pressure has been... The pressure has been pretty good here by Conde. It's yeah. not a lot of opportunity here for Mantis to get anything going, but now, as we see, he needs to get that stage control. He needs that if he gets control. that, then he can make it very difficult for Mewtwo yep. to try to get anything going. That's the thing about Olimar. The more stage he has, the better. Because Olimar's a very, at least the way Mantis plays now, is a very runaway kind of playstyle. Not, not, not maybe for a fan of it, but it's the way that he plays, he enjoys the game like that. Uh, to reach their own. And with Olimar, it's kind of basically what you have to do. You have to throw Pikmin, run away, hit your opponent, run away. Because Olimar, you know, if they get right up in your face, it's going to be very hard for you to get out of it, or you to punish, or you, etc. It's just, Olimar, that, that's where Olimar doesn't shine it. On the other hand, we can see here he already has two purple, purple Pikmin, Pikmin, which yep. help him with that side B, try to get... With that side B, strong, uh, strong attacks, more knockback. Yeah, pretty much, and it helps keep Mewtwo, yep. like, stay away from me. Yeah, basically. But like, Mewtwo... Gonde has to be careful with the side Bs especially, because he can approach Olimar with uh, the side B unless that was a very close shot of ball. I think that was a really fast fastball too. Like he yeah. saw it coming, he's like, nope. Yeah, really. <laughs> he, he lived that. Wow. Ooh, scary situation. Oh, scary. but that was, oh. that was a good foot wow, And his spacing get... has been really good. The spacing has been, yeah. Of course, in that situation for the grab, he didn't have a pigment though, close yeah. to it, so he couldn't get it. But still, like, he's been able to keep out of that range that Olimar could potentially punish him. Oh, that's bad. Yep. And here we see pretty much Mewtwo's... Mewtwo's bread and butter, I guess. Up throw kill. Up throw. It kills really early, you know. Olimar's a very light character. Like, like at 100%, he has rage that, that Olimar wasn't going to win. GG, well played. Yeah. Right, let's see what they go for stage 2 here. Uh, Olimar... I would say, how does Olimar fare in flat stages? If anything, that's the stage he wants the most that, and I think it's Town and City. Both final, exactly, see final destination or Town and City, plus. He just wants more space to run in, he wants to just run away throw Pikmin all day, which is what he's been doing this entire time. And if a Pikmin dies, you know, he puts out another one. Exactly, and that's one of the most important things you need to do yep. with Olimar. Just keep try to get keep your opponent away and get damage in. Because as you were saying earlier, if Kond is able to get in on Olimar, it's going to be yep. very, very gonna be difficult. difficult for uh, Olimar. 
Yeah, and, exactly. And Mewtwo Ultras, yeah. But here he's been doing a lot of good work. Oh! That was a purple pigeon, you see? And that's okay, a he was break. calling. He was calling for a purple pigeon to come out so that he could uh, pull his back. Right, but shield break, that's definitely a kill at 100% on Mewtwo. Yeah, definitely. So the final decision really well. Really it's, working it's, out for it. Until now, yeah. Okay. So, now we see Gonda needs to kind of bring it back up. So let's see what's going to happen here. He's trying to keep the spacing down and get that stage control away from Mathis. Yeah. But, I mean, still, it's it's been a little bit difficult here. Yeah, it's, it's been rather challenging. What do you say he would have to do in this situation? The Alamar or... Mewtwo. Mewtwo. I mean... As Mewtwo, I honestly don't know. I know that you basically can hit, have to get rid of the Pikmin. You have to like hit as many Pikmin as you can, get rid of them. Olimar can pluck them out, yes, but you have to be fast enough in order so that he doesn't pluck out anymore. And when they get on you, you know, you gotta get hit, rid of them because they're just gonna be dealing more damage. Don't get too bothered by it though, or, Man or Mantis will punish you for it. And you always gotta have that hole. That oh, he so. waited. He waited. He waited he so waited. hard. Because, again, it's all about covering those yeah. ledge options. What is my opponent gonna do? If he jumps, Shadow Ball can cover it. Yeah. If you roll, in a, I mean, if you normal get up, yeah. it's gonna cover it. So, you try to go for at least two situations that you can cover. Yeah. And that kind of, you know, gives you room to work with. And of course, Gonda doing a really good job in getting the kill because of that. Yeah, but now, yeah. I mean, it was already looking kind of hard for Mewtwo. Uh, since, you know, 100 something percent for the Automar 23. It was looking very difficult. But yeah. So he's gonna be hopping out. He has his match. Yeah, I'm gonna have my match. Back, so. so we'll finish this set on the next match. Conde mm -hmm. and Mantis, again, we saw Final Destination. It's a match that makes it difficult for Olimar. Well, for Mewtwo, for Mewtwo yeah. Olimar does a really good job there. Yeah. Town and City can also be a good stage for both, I would say, because it's still a lot of room to work with on Olimar. But Mewtwo can also kill really early from the top with those up throws. So it can work out really well for Mewtwo as well. Gonde getting a very good string here. And, you know, kind of both of them fighting here for who gets that stage control. And Mantha's doing much better. Now the platforms move out. Talon City is one of those stages that platforms can either move in or out. And now it's a scenario like before a final destination. Mewtwo can't get on the platform, so he's got to deal with those Pikmin and how to come in on Mantis without getting damaged in the process, because Mantis can just react to any situation that comes into that scenario. But still, Thunder keeping the situation alive, trying to go for that Shadow Ball kill again. But this time, Mantis recognizing it and going for a roll instead of a normal getup or a jump which would guarantee him going for being safe. Now, that's a pivot grab. Pivot grabs in this game, pretty much you get, you need to, as the name says, just run back and pivot, but it also has a bigger grab range. So it allows you to both kind of juke your opponent and also get more consistent grabs as long as you're they're moving in that scenario. Okay, so Fon is able to Pretty much bring that, bring, get the stock, bring it back, and now he has to get some percent here. He now has the platforms to to kind of jump into to evade Alomar's Pikmin, but it can be difficult. And Mantis trying to get with that kill with the purple Pikmin, but when they're recognizing an air and air dodging correctly, but now it's very difficult. He's not allowing Thunde to land here. Well, he got the situation, so let's see what he can do from there. That's a lot of damage, though, that Gonda took. So he's got to be really careful. Okay, that's Blue Pikmin. Is that going to be the kill? No. Okay, so Blue Pikmin is one of those that has 
with the grab, he can kill. Like, he's the grab, kill, secure pigment in a sense. Of course, not having rage kind of affects the time of which you will kill, because rage affects both damage and knockback. And Olimar was pretty close to zero. But in this case, blue pigment, pivot grab, gonna seal the stock as well. And Mantis will take it 2 1 over Bump. Excellent play from both, though. And good counter pickings, too. Like, they went into trying to play to each of them in their favors or disadvantages. But that's gonna be the match.